All right, feels like Friday morning. I guess that means it's time for a little flick to the testes. Uh, Sack Tap Live starting right now. And uh, I, I did this yesterday. We um doing a new a new segment to start uh, Sack Tap Live. Jeez, I'm uh, getting off to a s- slow out of the blocks this morning. Uh, I was a little, little groggy when I woke up, so please forgive me. This is, I literally wake up like, you know, Less than an hour before doing this, uh, the caffeine's just hitting. I just took a took a huge shit. Anyway, um, it was uh, very satisfying, tremendous, probably the best dump anyone has ever. People are saying the biggest, it, the biggest, bigger than Obama's. Um, but uh, we got a new thing where uh, to kill some time uh, because I have nothing else to uh, to talk to you about. Uh, I take an item off of my shelf and I tell you all about it. So with no further ado, let's uh, get into weird shit from Mike's shelves. Uh, this is uh, right here. We have. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hold that close to the camera. That is. Let's get that in there. Yeah. This is a. It's a bottle opener, and it says, "I fear no beer." And I like this because, you know, it tells people that uh, I like to party so much that I'm not afraid of uh, of any beer. And um, if people are like, "Well, does that guy? Does he really like to party, or is he just saying that he likes to party?" Well, you can see that. Whoa. Um, not only is it a bottle opener, but it's a, it's a magnet, too. Well, it used to be a magnet, and uh, the, the, the magnetic part fell out, so now it's, it's no longer a magnet. Now it's just a bottle opener. But it was a bottle opener that was intended to be a magnet. Um, and, and that tells people that th- not only does this guy not fear any beer, but he, he guzzles so many of them that he needs to, uh, he needs to keep a, a bottle opener attached to the refrigerator at all times. Uh, because you know he never knows when he's going to need to open a beer. He doesn't have time to like look through a drawer or uh, or you know find find something he can he can pop a bottle top off open with. He's he needs it right now. There's no no delay. This guy is ready to fucking party, and he's partied. So, and actually, this uh, by by virtue of it missing its magnetic piece uh, tells people that I've partied so much that this was constantly coming on and off and on and off the refrigerator that the uh, that it has lost its magnetic properties. So, I fear no beer, and neither should you. But still, party safely. Um, what did I want to talk about today? Why don't you take a seat right over there? Uh, I want to talk about volume douchebags. Uh, this is just, this isn't even in the news. I'm just talking about volume douche. Could you turn that down? Um, and you're probably like, why? No one fucking cares about this. I'm sure you don't, but this is my live stream, and, uh, and you're watching it. You're free to go at any time. You go fuck yourself. But, uh, I, I work, the place I work at, it's, uh, it's in a newsroom. I, the, uh, the, uh, the lame stream media. Yeah, fucking lies. The, uh, the liberal biased mainstream media. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it is a, uh, newsroom in, uh, up here in Gotham. Um, and we have TVs all over the fucking place, and pretty much everybody watches TV all day at work. It's one of the few benefits of working in the uh, the news industry. Uh, and uh, there are s- some people there are totally cool. You're watching a game or something like that. They'll come by, check out the score. You, you got Fox News on, CNN. You know, maybe you want some propaganda. Uh, they'll be, you know come by, bullshit with you. You know, very things are very harmonious. But there are a few. There there are a handful of uh, of sort of volume Nazis in in the room. Um, and, uh, fucking, yeah, one of them has, has decided to start shushing, and this is usually just when I go and start to shush good morning, uh, football. There's, there's few better ways to wake up in the morning than, um, than, than a little NFL network, especially that chick, um, what's her name, fucking Kay Adams, good God, she is, she is something else, huh, she's a lot of fun. But there's this, what? Well, yeah, one douche keeps shushing, uh, to, two, two times this week, says, now it's starting to become a problem. Really? Is it? Is at least, first of all, you have fucking headphones on at your desk. I don't know how this is becoming a problem. And not like little earbuds either. Just big fucking headphones that cover your entire ear. So you're telling me that from across the room with the volume at like a 13, it's, it's, still, it's still throwing you off through your headphones? No, you're full of fucking shit. You know what you are? You're a fucking volume Nazi. And you know what? Our, our forefathers didn't, uh, didn't die uh, face down in, in the sands of Normandy Beach for us to be pushed around by fucking volume not- Nazis. So you, you watch your fucking shit. Uh, the other volume Nazi in the room is this fucking dinosaur. She, Jesus. 
She's got to be. She's got to be pushing the century mark. I don't know how she's still fucking employed. It, the, the company's probably just trying to avoid an ageism suit at uh, at this point. But she is just a a royal pain in the ass. This woman will spend. She doesn't even fucking work. I don't. I honestly don't know why she's there. She spends hours at a time talking on the phone to to friends and family members about various physical ailments. Like, and I think they're all other old people that she's talking with. Like, it doesn't sound like she's communicating with uh with the youth. Uh, she'd probably be better off sending these people a fucking telegram than speaking on phone. Like, she had, uh, she lost her iPhone charger, uh, one day and was interrogating the entire newsroom because she thought people were, were stealing her iPhone charger. Like, get the fuck out. Like, why does she even have an iPhone anyway? Like, what do, what do, do her, th her throwback Thursday pictures are all from the fucking Taft administration. Like, get, get fucking real, lady. Um, but there are some good, there are some good people out there, um. One dude wanted the volume turned down as scotch. Fine with that. Um, and he came over, and we uh, we looked at, I just said, the lovely Miss Kay Adams. And uh, we we talked about how, how fetching we both found her. And he's like, hey, you mind killing the volume a little bit? Sure. No thing. No, no, no problem, pal. Don't sweat it. You know why? You came over and uh, and asked nicely. But you know what? We have a big, big fucking problem with manners in this country. And uh, the problem is that nobody fucking has any. Uh, I've bitched at length about retro fitness in Hoboken, and I'm, I'm sure some of you uh, watching this maybe work out there. Maybe you're retro fitness Hoboken people. If uh, And if this applies to you, if the shoe fits, uh, wear it. If not, put on a pair of sandals. Much more comfortable. Let those toes breathe. Uh, anyway, but I, I go there, and uh, you know I'm leaving the locker room and take a little piss before I go lift. And I walk in, and the fucking sink is just running. And it's not an automatic sink, like some, maybe someone put their hand under to wash and then walked away before it stopped. This is a sink. It takes physical effort to turn on. You, you push the, uh, the little lever up, and the water runs, and then it stops running when you push the lever back down. Very, very simple procedure. Any fucking asshole can figure it out. Like, you really do not have to be a genius to do this. Like, I'm sure at those camps they have for retarded kids, they have this kind of, uh, this kind of faucet, and, and the retarded kids figure it out just fine. I have to imagine that. But, of course, at Retro Fitness Hoboken, even the simple is incredibly difficult, and some moron just left it fucking running. Like, who the fuck does that? And I get it. It's a shitty bathroom. They don't have... There are no paper towels in there. They just have one of those, uh, those warm air blast things that covers your hands in, in the bacteria that's stuck up in the machine when it, it sends them out in a hot blast, and you wind up getting fucking uh, Legionnaire's disease from it. But, uh, you know, just turn, turn the fucking faucet off. It's just simple things, and I'm not like a fucking, uh, an earth freak or an environmentalist or one of those nutbags, but just turn the fucking faucet off. Like, just, just do, do the little things right, and then the big things will come easy. Um, but just, yeah, a complete degrega degradation of, uh, of, of manners in this country. I was, uh, and it, I probably, uh, within the same week, I think I was riding the bus home from, from the gym, and, uh, it was reasonably, uh, crowded, well, not like crowded, but we had, uh, there was a crowd on the bus, and an old old woman gets on, and she's paying with change, as old women are wont to do, because they're, you know, fucking too stupid to use an app, and, uh, or get a fucking bus, but, you know, you get a discounted bus pass, lady, just get the fucking pass, what are you, you're pulling out your fucking change purse every time you get on the bus, neither here nor there, they're the elderly, they don't fucking know, uh, but, uh, she gets on, and... You'd be yeah, probably still paying with fucking Sacagawea dollars. Uh, anyway, she gets on, she drops, uh, drops a bunch of her change, and I'm sitting right there. So obviously, a, you know, gentleman that I am, I'm wearing my my Iraq and Afghanistan veterans of uh, America shirt here. So you, you know, I'm a, a a warrior and a gentleman. I'm gonna go help uh, a, a damsel in distress, and I I get down uh, on the ground. I pick up her quarters and uh, hand them to him, and she was she's very appreciative, very nice woman. But I looked around the bus, and r directly across from me is a little, uh, couldn't have been older than maybe like third, third grade or so, and he's sitting with a guy who appears to be his father. He's a little Hispanic kid and his father, and the kid's just sitting there staring at me, and the father is just fucking, fucking around on his phone. Now, impossible for him to have, have not noticed what happened in front of him, right? Coins hit the ground, they make, you know, clink and they rattle around. And there's an, you hear an old woman saying, I'm sorry, she's apologizing to the bus driver. And, you know, I get my big ass up and start picking them up. And it's right in front of this guy's face. And at no point did this fucking guy say to his kid, hey, fucking Pablo, 
when an old woman drops a bunch of fucking coins, you get down and you help her pick them up. What a perfect time to teach that lesson. So when we talk about what, what everything that's fucking going wrong with society these days, or like uh, just people are becoming bigger and bigger shitheads, it's stuff like that. Uh, now, do I think the elderly are kind of a pain in the ass? Absolutely. I think uh, I think everyone does. The elderly and children are huge pains in the asses, and we all started out as pains in the asses. And unless we're stricken down by some horrible illness before we uh, we reach the age of, of seventy or so. Uh, we will all become major pains in the ass, as some would say that I'm still uh, a massive pain in the ass. But you know what? I'm a massive pain in the ass who helps an old lady pick up her fucking quarters. And this isn't about uh, riding my high horse. I don't know how to ride horses. Never learned. No one ever taught me. Rode a pony once at the uh, school fair. Absolute thrill. Wish someone would have taught me how to ride a fucking horse. Uh, neither here nor there. Uh, the point is, if you're, riding your, if you're riding the fucking bus with your son, uh, and an old woman drops a bunch of shit... The immediate response should be, you, you, first of all, put the fucking phone down, quit playing fucking Candy Crush or Age of Empires, whatever bullshit people play. The fucking, uh, I look around the bus and everyone's buried in the fucking phone. There's no intelligence going on here. I've seen, I've started to see more people reading books. I think people are starting to finally resist the, uh, the mobile addiction. But just still fucking, what is wrong with us that we're so willing, and I, I hope you're watching this on, uh, on your mobile device, and if you are, keep your head buried in it, because I could totally use the, uh, the views and the clicks and the clout, but uh, we've become such a society that is, is just married to these devices and doing nothing, nothing of, um, of intellectual value, uh, just literally just fucking around. We are, we are scrolling digitally through life. And can you imagine, if you're a young person, being on your deathbed, and when they say, you know, they say your life flashes before your eyes when, when you die, looking back on your life, and it is just a montage of you in, you know, otherwise fucking just your life, and it's a, a, just you looking at, a, staring at a fucking phone, just face buried in it. What could have been, in, then here is me fucking up my posture, and here's me fucking up my eyesight, and here's me playing a stupid fucking game. And here's me reading an article on BuzzFeed instead of a fucking book, because I'm a fucking idiot. Uh, just a absolute absurdity. Uh, we really... Society needs to pull its head out of its ass. Either that, or we, we need another thing, something to come along and off uh, a chunk of the population. Because, uh, you know, we were supposed to get hit with... There was a Chinese satellite falling from the sky, and I was hoping that would take out at least a few dozen people, and, and that, that didn't pan out. But um, we're really... I mean, come on. When a fuck it. I mean, I, I grew up in the, the 1990s, not long ago, and I cannot imagine being anywhere with a, an older woman dropping a bunch of shit, especially a bunch of little shit that takes, like, you know, kind of fine motor skills to pick up. Like, picking up coins is a... I'm an able-bodied adult male, and I think picking up coins is a fucking pain in the ass. Like, so you gotta do that thing where you kind of get your, your finger underneath it, and then you, you flip it, and it's like... Gah. Got one, and then there's like five more, and I gotta fucking do that again five more times. Jesus Christ. And I'm kneeling, and the bus is, you know, it's going up a, a hill, and it's it's shaky, and the driver's fucking slamming her brakes because it's Jersey City, and everyone drives like a fucking asshole. And, and not a one other person gave a shit to help this person. And again, this isn't about tooting my horn. This is about shaming others. This is about shaming all those other douchebags on the bus who said that uh, whatever fucking stupid snap I'm looking at right now. There's a fucking, oh, it's, it's, a, it's a chick with a, uh, she's, oh, she looks like a dog. How'd that happen? She has flowers on her head now? I'm, this, is, this is amazing. I've never seen anything like it. Um, so fucking stupid. That was more important to them than, uh, than helping out an older woman. And that's why, uh, that's why we're losing. That's, that's why we're all going to be speaking, like I've said, depending on what coast you live on, the West Coast, Everyone's going to be speaking fucking Mandarin pretty soon. Let the, the Chinese just gonna slide right in. Because you know the people on the West Coast can't say no to a fucking ethnic. Not at all. So they're just going to they're gonna creep in under, under cover of darkness, all, all ready to build the railroads, make dumplings and shit, and then the next thing you know, they're going to be fucking, uh, they're going to be running the entire West Coast. And good on them. I might move out there. I'm down with the Chinese. Uh, and fucking, 
and then on the East Coast, it's going to be it's going to be Russians because they're just going to do it by there's going to be no trickery. I know everyone's like, oh, they they, they tricked us, they fixed the election. There's not going to be any trickery when those motherfuckers show up. They're just going to roll right in. You think uh, uh, New York City used to be a city of like tough guys, like hey, yeah, yeah, I'm Tony from Staten Island. Yeah, you could. Hey, that Putin guy comes over here. He's going to be getting met with a, a welcoming uh, committee. It's going to be me, Anthony, and uh, my lead pipe. Uh, now we don't have that anymore. Now all we have is a bunch of um, fucking like NYU twinks and black turtlenecks and I'm with her stickers, fucking parading around like dickheads wearing their uh, their vagina cat hats. The Russian Putin's gonna come come in shirtless through the Atlantic. He's probably gonna ride ride on horseback across the Atlantic Ocean and just fucking come in by himself. Maybe uh, maybe a couple other guys. Maybe Putin and a couple other guys and, and lumberjack the shit out of all those NYU twinks, and uh, he'll probably be the new mayor of New York City, which is fine, because de Blasio's a fucking communist anyway, so it won't be much of a change. But uh, but anyway, that has been SackTap Live. I'm Mike Montone. Please, uh, on the social media, check us out. Instagram, at Gary underscore Moiler, M-O-Y-L-E-R. If you're not doing that, you're a fucking asshole. And uh, I'm, on, I'm on the Twitter as well, at Mike Montone. Uh, I... Used to do a lot more tweeting. I should get back into that. I fucking love Twitter. I've just been... I've been too busy to tweet lately. That kind of blows. Uh, you should never be too busy to do something that you love. So I'll go back to, uh, to, to looking at porn gifs and, uh, and tweeting obscenities about, uh, about celebrities and, uh, and such. But, uh, please check us out there. And, uh, what else? Uh, if you want the podcast, uh, savagecrew.libsyn.com. And, uh, otherwise, have, uh, have a smashing Friday, and I'll see you tomorrow morning.